Hi there, in this, in this video, I'm just going to give a quick demo of Blender, uh, an amazing visualization tool of which I'm, I'm only a very, very basic user. Um, I'm, I'm certainly by no means an expert, um, but I'm gonna show you how you can use Blender as, as a visualiz visualization um, tool in your GIS work. And certainly if you're familiar with the Blender, you can really push um, the, the bounds of, of visualization of your um, geospatial information um, to, to um, some extreme really. It's an incredibly powerful tool blender. Um, and like I said, I'm only a uh, very, very basic uh, user, but I thought I'd make this video just to show you how easy it is to get GIS data into Blender. So I've just done a, um, let's do it again, a new general um, scene here, uh, project. And um, this is 292, I think, just to, 292, yeah, so it's pretty um, pretty new, really. Um, so how do we get started? Well, actually, you need a uh, a, a plugin, an add-on. Uh, here, here is uh, um, where you get it from, from GitHub. Um, it's called Blender GIS, and it's very, very easy to uh, to install and get cracking with. So get, get it, get the zip file and download it somewhere. Uh, that's all it is. So it's this GitHub um, Blender GIS link. I shall uh, put that in the description. And then once you've um, got that, and, and of course it, it, I'm expecting you've got Blender. This is you know the normal um, Blender download here is 292. So they'll expect you to, to have already got that. So you need you need Blender of course. But the, the the crucial bit is this Blender GIS. So once you've got that in uh, Edit and Preferences. You can install um, an add-on, sorry, so you click on add-on, install, and then go to where you dumped the zip file. So that's where I saved it, and um, install. Uh, it will pop up in this um, dialog still, and it's got a little exclamation mark because it's development ver version, so you need to be aware of that. Um, and then what you do is just click on the checkbox. So that effectively enables it. There's a few settings that you can um, play around with. Um, you know, feel, feel free. I suppose a main one that I'm going to set is the cache, the cache folder where it puts temporary, uh, I think it stores them actually as geo, geo packages, um, temporary files as it grabs it from Google and OSM and stuff. So you might, so you'll put a cache folder in there. Uh, there's a few other bits and pieces. Feel free to have a look. You know, there's a default um, a, uh, elevation data to, to do the 3D visualization. So I'm gonna leave it on open topo, uh, the SRTM, the shuttle stuff at 30 meters. But you can add um, um, for additional ones in, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also set the sort of projection engine you want to use if you want to force to EPSG, that's what you're familiar with, then go with. But I'm, I'm going to leave those on, on the on the sort of defaults. So so now that's um, in there. Let's close. And now, if you look in the um, view, um, the window here, the port, you'll see GIS added to the object mode. Click on GIS. Web geodata, base map. So I go to base map. And yeah, I'll go for Google and I'll go for satellite. Um, note I could pick up some Esri stuff. But I'll just go straight to Google's because that's um, obviously quite po popular. And there it is. Um, I'm going to just position the um, view. Let's say, um, let's go up north to somewhere where there's some interesting elevation. Now I could pan around and fi find stuff, but if you press G, you can search. <clears throat> so I'll do Edinburgh. It's on zoom level nine at the moment. Uh, I think I'm going to zoom quite far in, maybe into, uh, yeah, 17, so that's the zoom level. Press OK, and now we're um, smack bang in Edinburgh, and there you can see the uh, Arthur's seat there. Um, let's zoom in a bit more, just use the mouse wheel to zoom in, um, and uh, um, that's good enough, I think. So we zoomed in a bit to Hollywood Park. 
just have some buildings sort of around the edge. So I've got my area of interest. Um, I'm going to press E to effectively export this. So that gets dumped uh, into sort of offline uh, geo package, um, which you can see in your temp cache folder. Um, so that, that's in there now. So what, what, I, what I'd like to do is actually add SLTM to give it an elevation reference. So I'm going to get elevation. Uh, like I said, you could add additional ones to this, but I'm just going to keep it default. Press OK. So now the elevation um, layer, the, the, that, that, that uh, model is loaded. Uh, if I hold down middle mouse button, I can rotate and you can see it's a bit wobbly, which is quite right too. Um, so that's pretty cool. The um, note, obviously we can you know, play around with, with Z scan and stuff to, to exaggerate, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at the moment. I'm not gonna go in, into uh, all the other configs you can do on this, because what I'd like to do is actually that now go to OSM and uh, uh, and bring in some buildings. So we click GIS, work, work data, and now I'm going to um, go get OSM. I'm just going to pick up buildings, but you can see I could shift and drag and select loads, but I'm, I'm not going to. I'm just going to go for buildings, and I'm going to pick up the elevation from the um, this this elevated imagery um, I've got. And now, if if I did separate objects, I would would get a whole load of objects in the scene, uh, for, you know, one for each building basically. So it, it would it would do that for you. But actually, I'm just going to create this one layer of of, of buildings. So now I'm going to press OK, um, but make sure you've got elevation from object checked there to get your um, <coughs> nice looking building heights. Now the buildings are loaded, uh, as you can see, which is great. I'll just click off the selection. And, and there you have it, you see. There's all the um, buildings just around Arthur's seat there. Nice bit of visualization going on here. Um, and uh, all free, everything is you're seeing here. Blender's free, this add-on's free. And uh, like I said, it's in, um, you know, it's totally in Blender. Uh, but it's one layer, like I said, I, I didn't do individual buildings. So when I select area building in, in, the, in the layer scene widget, you will get them all, which is what, what I expected. Um, but you could treat them all um, individually, load them separately if you want. A key thing as well with under the GIS menu here, you can import a shapefile or your own XML OSM data or ASCII grid uh, from Esri. Uh, so you can pull in shapefiles, dump them on top and and uh, go for it and then there's a couple of other uh, options you can play with. Anyway, that's a quick look at uh, Blender uh, getting it all kicked off with um, some geospatial data. Uh, a bit of elevation, nice view of our seat uh, in Edinburgh, and um, yeah, I, I hope you hope you find this useful. Thank you.